you've done today to make yourself a better player tomorrow. I know you're watching these videos and that is great, but realize that watching is one thing, actually applying, putting in hard work, consistent work every day is another thing and that's what's really gonna take your game to the new level. If you practice consistently, you're training on your own, you're going hard in team sessions, you're studying these videos, you're watching professional football as much as possible, I guarantee you're gonna be absolutely amazed at the improvements that you make, but only if you stick with it for the long run. So in this video, I am talking about midfield and I wanna do a quick midfielder tutorial. Now this applies to every, every position in the midfield. We're gonna address them all. But the point I wanted to start with is that nowadays, I really like to see total player rotation especially in the midfield, okay? So you may start on the wing, but you need to be able to play this defensive midfielder here. You need to be able to play the attacking. You need to be able to play on the other side, okay? When you have a set of players who can play every position, they're not restricted to one position. They're not restricted to just playing right midfielder. You're gonna be a lot more dangerous because players can drift out. We can go into different positions. It's gonna force their defense to react differently. It's going to create more space for everyone to play in and we're just going to be a lot tougher to play against, okay? But let's look at these midfield four. We're going to look specifically defensive midfielder, attacking midfielder, and two wide midfielders, okay? Now, if you watch my defender tutorial, I talked a lot about defensive shape and moving as a unit. Same goes for the midfield. Now, I want to start by saying the distance between the midfielders when defending is very important, but what's also important is the d distance between the defenders and the midfielders, okay? So if we're defending properly, we should have very short gaps between our defensive pairing and our midfielders, okay? So we wanna get really narrow and compact when you're defending. That's what's gonna make it difficult for the opposition to break you down. So. We're moving as a unit. Let's say the ball's out here. Again, first player presses. Hopefully you're gonna get a little help from your defender, but everyone will focus mainly on the midfielders here. Everyone has to shift across, okay, and cover the space, but also any players that might be in this space. Now, when you're defending, when we're attacking, we might be in a diamond like this. When you're defending, I really think that you should drop almost into a flat four, it's going to give us a lot more stability and it's going to be harder for players to break us down, other teams to break us down. Okay, so let's say the ball gets shifted to the other side. First player in has to press. Hopefully you get some support from the defenders, but everyone's coming across. Okay, and we're basically splitting the field in half. Okay, don't, don't worry about these guys out here. Like I said in the other video, if the ball gets switched, everyone can react accordingly. We all slide across but we all have to be disciplined. No one can be lazy, okay? It's easy to make runs when you want to get goal scoring opportunities, but are you disciplined enough to make your runs to defend properly, okay? Don't be lazy, work hard to keep your shape. And as you can see, we're keeping really short distances, not only from the midfielders, but also defenders. And as the ball switches, we're moving as a unit, working together, okay? Now, the next thing I want to talk about here is this defensive midfielder right here, okay? Just want to talk specifically about this guy because he plays a very important role in stopping their team linking up with their strikers, okay? So I talked about it in another video. When you're defending, you want to think about cutting off passing angles. Okay, so instead of just standing here, can I come in front of this player here? Especially if you're this defensive midfielder and you don't have anyone there, you're really just marking the space, you need to be cutting off the passing angles into these strikers like this, okay? So if I just stand here like this and I'm slowly closing down, this pass is gonna come in here, I'm gonna be beat right away. Instead, anticipate, try to read the game. Where does this guy wanna play? Where, where does he wanna make the pass? Okay, I know he wants to make the pass in here. Hopefully I'll get a little support here that will cut off this angle. Okay, and now you can see it's very difficult. He's gonna have to dribble forward. 
hopefully we can close okay or force them to go backwards and we can all press up the field together okay so that's another point as soon as the ball goes deep everyone has to move up okay we're talking about midfield here but the whole team has to move up as a unit if it comes back this way we're coming down we're closing the gaps quickly everyone's moving together okay now let's talk on the offensive side because that's really where the fun is especially as a midfielder you want to get on the ball as much as possible now like I said there's total you should have free range to change positions okay some coaches may not like this but I want you to get in the habit of varying out your runs if you're a wide player I don't want you to stay out here the whole day okay I don't want you just like this like I said in my other video I want you to vary your runs I want you to come inside I want you to go around the back try to be a little more direct okay I want you to drift in here pick up the ball at your feet okay change your runs yes work up and down this line this is your line but come inside don't be afraid to let other players switch out rotate and just get the ball moving this is what I really want to get at here is quick ball movement okay so we may not even be going forward they might be closing us down well but you have to keep the ball moving as soon as someone gets the ball and they take five six touches especially when we're getting closed down that's when we're gonna lose possession of the ball and that's when potentially they could hurt us right away okay so keep possession of the football is the biggest thing how are you gonna do that Two touch football Get in defeat. If it's if you don't have a chance to attack, there's no space to attack. Then you want to play the ball back again. Remember, this player here has to be the biggest link-up player, trying to switch, trying to get the ball to the other side. Hopefully, our fullbacks will join in. Okay, and we get some good attacking opportunities. Okay, so as the ball, we're playing two touch. If you play into this guy, you can play back here, playing two touch, keeping the ball moving, nice and fluid like that. The biggest thing for this guy is the link-up play. So as the ball comes in here, they've got all their players here. I said in the other video, you don't want to go back here. We want to learn to switch the ball. Okay, play into here. Hopefully this attacking midfielder is making some space for himself. Play into here. Now we're dangerous. Now we can attack into these spaces. Okay, so get your head up as this player. Before the ball comes to you, get your head up. Look over here. Who's open? Where can I make the pass? Okay. Decide where it's going before it gets to you. You're already opening up your body. One touch to open. One touch to switch. Now we're attacking. Everyone joins in. Okay, we're looking to score goals. Now, I want you to think about, especially as a midfielder, remember, everyone can come into here. But as you get the ball in these areas, can we be more direct? Can we be more dangerous with our attacking? So, instead of always playing the ball out wide yes we want to use our width to attack instead of always playing the ball out wide can we be a little more direct you want to look for little combinations in here if you can play the striker into feet in here as opposed to the winger feet out here okay this pass is a little more dangerous in here yes we need variation we want to get crosses in from here we want to keep them honest but if we can start playing balls into here and then play off the strikers can work together Okay, for a shot on goal, you can play in here, get the ball back. Okay, we're playing different sorts of combinations. We want to be more direct. We want to try to go right at them, down their throat. Okay, what will happen over time is they'll start to come really tight because they know we're attacking direct and we are hurting them. They'll come really tight like this. Now, at this point, this is where we play out wide. Okay, this player can, this midfielder can whip a ball in like that or this player can get at them. This is the point where we want to go one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, let's say we get a nice big switch showing into space, link up, play a nice big switch out here. Now, this player has an opportunity to go one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, you want to be direct with your dribbling. Can we beat him once? Now we swing in across, or take him on, beat inside. Okay, now you can get in a little dink over the top, or if you can, you can get a shot on goal. Okay? Now, where, where you're going to get your goals as a midfielder is your willingness to get forward, okay? Because the average midfielder is lazy, I'll be honest. It's a lot of work being a midfielder. You've got to run up and down. you got to play offense. you got to play defense. But if you want to score goals, you have to be willing to get in the box. So let's say we had a we had play a nice, remember, two-touch, keeping possession of the football. 
The ball gets switched out here. There's space to attack. Okay, this midfielder takes it down the line. As a winger, as the midfielders, where are we? Okay, we've switched the ball. We've done our job. But now what are we going to do? You have to get forward. Okay, you want to make these runs in the box like this. You want to get numbers in the box. Hopefully you can get a quality ball in. Or we get a deflection. Okay, or we're just getting numbers around the ball. Okay, but what happens most times is the ball gets switched out here. Okay, the ball gets switched out here. There's an opportunity to play across, but we're just waiting. We're being lazy here, okay? You want to score five, ten more goals a season? Make a commitment to get in the box every time there's an opportunity for a cross. Every time there's a playmaker who has the ball, okay? Every time a striker has the ball in defeat and they're getting closed down, we got to make these trailing runs, okay? You will get so many more goals simply by putting in the effort to get forward, okay? Put in the effort to get forward, I guarantee you five more goals a year. Now, saying that, I just want to keep this video short. Like every other video I've said, these tactics are great, but if you don't have the technique to pull it off, it's not going to work for you. So make a commitment to me, make a commitment, more importantly, to yourself. 20 to 30 minutes every day, you have to be on the ball practicing basic techniques. If you want to take it to a new level, definitely get that fitness up, practicing your full field sprints and recovery. So you might just sprint 100 meters, jog back, sprint 100 meters, jog back. Okay? That's going to help you with those long distance runs, getting in the box, Okay, hopefully getting a chance on goal, but you're never going to get those goals unless you get there, okay? So think about defensively, remember we move as a unit, midfield is so important for defense. If we have lazy midfielders who don't work to defend, they just want to be attackers, then your team's going to concede many, many goals, okay? So remember, we want to keep the distances short, not only between the midfielders, but also our defenders. If we have big gaps like this, okay, this is where we're going to get hurt because they're going to play into here and they can damage, they can hurt us right away. So keep those short short distances. Okay, we wanna double up whenever possible. Okay, if you have the chance to double, this is where we're gonna win the ball. So get numbers around the ball. Okay, if he has in here, let's double up. Don't sit off, don't wait, double up. Can we win the ball? Okay, finally in possession, remember, we have numbers around the ball. Let's make quick passes, two touch, let the ball do the work. Okay, when we have it in these areas, can we be aggressive? Can we be direct? Can we try to play dangerous through balls into space? Can you get some shots on net? Okay, if they're not going to close you down, take your shots. But most importantly, work to get forward in the box to get your chances. Okay, I hope you got something valuable from this. I hope you can see this. It seems like a bit of a mess right now. But listen to what I say. Apply what I say. And I guarantee you, your performance will improve. We'll see you real soon.